What's up guys, it's Shamaster of Brandy Vantor doing with Deku, let's turn to a vampire, part 4. Now then, let me set this timer, and let's get this started. Now then, where we last left off, Deku was fighting Copy Bitch. And Copy Bitch used an attack, or a cork at least, to blow himself up. So he just thought, hey, in the misery here, and let me just die. So he blew himself up like a fucking Cyberman. So yeah, let's continue off of that. Now. Now then. As well, the announcer says that, well, let me check see my list. As he sees, the next fight's going to be Bakugo versus Deku. As he tells Izuku Midori to stay on the arena exactly. As he yells out to Bakugo Katsugi, get on the arena now. As immediately Bakugo just jumps off his seat exactly, and immediately uses Quark to, well, get down there at least faster. Now then. Because the arena is designed like the UA, well, sport festival arena at least. So yeah. Now. As Bakugo says, huh, Deku, at least, at least you're healed up, though. As Deku says, yeah. As well, Deku cracks his knuckles, as Bakugo does, too. The internet says, go. As Millie Deku charges up his Kyle Ken, two, five. He immediately yells out to Bakugo, I think this is enough, at least, to deal with you. As Bakugo says, you might not want to be that cocky, at least. As Deku's moving too fast for Bakugo. Now... As Bakugo just says, huh, well then, I think I made a new attack. As Deku says, huh, what is it then? As Mili Bakugo just says, watch. As he Mili gets all, well, his hand exactly as he Mili wipes his face and his arm and legs at least to get all that nitroglycerin on him. He Mili uses his cork to create a giant explosion, like his gauntlets, but they're not that big. As Deku says, shit. And Mili saying Kaioken times 10. Now then, he immediately puts up an energy barrier around him, at least to shield the attack. As Bakugo says, huh, you had to put an energy barrier up, didn't you? As Deku says, yeah, I had to. Now then, Bakugo says, don't hold back, Deku. I already know you can go further than that. As Deku says, yeah, I can. Mostly going through this guy's information, at least about this quirk. It can go a long way, at least. This kid has gone to 20. 30 was his max, so I'm going to try 50. As Bakugo says, you crazy little son of a bitch. As Mili Deku, Mili, all the red aura that Mili forms around him. He is now in Kaioken times 50. As Bakugo sees that, Deku's body cannot handle that at least. Deku Mili charges at Bakugo, and Bakugo is thinking of trying to do a defensive strategy. And Mili's explosions to try to get up in the air before Deku grabs his legs. Telling him through well, all, the pain, all the pain through his body exactly, telling him he's not going anywhere. And Millie's throwing, back, throwing Bakugo back on the arena. As the king and queen are seen exactly, it seems like she uh, evenly matched fight. Or at least was, at least. As well, Bakugo saying, huh. Well then, Deku. Seems like you broke my arm, at least. As Deku says, yeah, sorry about that. Now. Now then. As Bakugo says that, I bet you couldn't win a fight exactly what Kyle can. As Deku says, fine, immediately depowering down. As Deku immediately feels all the stress and pain of the quirk. As Baku says, ha, gotcha. Immediately charging at Deku is only the arm that's not broken at least, and punches Deku in the face. As Deku actually felt that really hard. Now, as Baku continues to do that exactly because Deku is out of stamina, as immediately Deku grabs his arm, saying that, huh, well I have enough stamina to do this at least. As Millie Deku just says, you might want to hold still, Bakugo. As Millie Deku just looks through his information, at least about the cork and others, as he seals that this copy bitch actually had a healing cork with him. Just in case. As Millie just heals up Bakugo's other arm, says that, why don't you heal my other arm, Deku? So that, well, I want to make it evenly match, at least. Now, as Bakugo says, fine. As Deku just says that, well, let's continue on then. Emily charging up the Kyle Ken times 50 once more. Saying that Dwell need this attack after you, Bakugo. Final explosion. Now, as Emily Bakugo sees that energy, well, energy charge of power exactly is around Deku, Bakugo just yells out to him, what the heck is that attack at least? 
He says that, well, while the energy I'm putting into this tag, it should knock you out at least. If I put too much in it, it will disintegrate everyone in this entire arena at least. Killing everyone here. And I know one thing only, I couldn't put that on my conscience at least for killing, well, you guys. Everyone else in those stupid teams, yeah, I'm going to kill them sooner or later. But still, you guys are my family. As Millie Deku says that, well, final explosion is fully charged up at least. As Bach goes, Emily playing up the same exactly trying to defend himself. Or at least put up a defensive guard. And Emily Deku lets out all that energy at least. Bach go, well, Bach goes on the ground at least. Scraped up and badly injured. As Deku is, well, part of his body did not turn to stone. Because he did not put that much energy into it. If he put all of his energy into it, he would turn to stone, yes. Put too much, or, yeah, put too much, it would merely turn to stone. Put too little, it wouldn't do shit. So he put it in the evenly goalie lock zone. So yeah. As Daku's broken arm merely just, well, regenerates, Daku immediately walks up to Baku. Seeing that he's still alive, but, well, not moving. Tapping on Baku at least, before Baku just, well, his hand immediately grabs Deku's. Looking at him and telling him that we're going to do a rematch then, because this isn't fair. As Millie Baku is just, well, out of breath and all that shit. As Deku does heal up Baku. As Baku gets up at least, the announcer tells, well, Baku that he is out. Because he was out of bounds. As Baku sees, fuck. Now, as the announcer sees that who's next, he just sees that that's it. That was the last fight. As the announcer says, I, that was the last fight, my king. As the king says, huh, well, as Millie Green asks, well, her dad, can't she just fight, well, Bakugo and Deku for the last fight, at least. As he's thinking about this, at least, he just says, sure. As he yells out the announcer, wait. And Millie yelling out those two livestock down there, at least, saying that, how about this, livestock? You defeat my daughter in battle, then, well, your team, at least, gets to eat how much they want, at least, and they have to drain that, well, juice you always get. As Bakugo and, think, Bakugo and Deku think about this lease, as Bakugo's and Deku's team yell out, do it, though. As Bakugo just says, fine then, but what if we lose? As he just says that, well, you just won't get any food for a day. Say that, well, food for a day at least. Well, that's shitty, but it doesn't matter anyway. As, well, Deku just says, sure. As Millie, Bakugo, and Deku are waiting for... Well, Green to get down there at least, she does. As well, Green just says, so who am I going to fight first? As Deku says, well, I have a brilliant idea. As Baku looks at Deku, seeing that, what the heck are you thinking about? Seeing that, run that, run that fusion quirk at least those three triplets had? Saying, yeah, what about it? How about if we fuse? As Baku says, you fucking crazy bastard. Saying that, sure, so how the heck the quirk works anyway? Do I have to put my hand on, on your back at least? Saying, yeah, but the quirk can work under our way, at least. I think that's going to take too long to explain how the quirk's going to work if that are ways, at least. But, well, let's just do it the, well, quirk traditional way. As Baku puts his hand on Dex's back, as he really fuse. Now, I do have a picture for this, at least. Baka Deku. Best fusion of all time. This is how Deku and Baku look when they're fused. Now then. Now. No. As Green sees us and says, huh, so we're supposed to call you at least. As Deku and Baku are thinking in their head at least, thinking what should they call each other. They aren't Deku or Bakugo. As they just say, well, Green, just call us Baka Deku. The one that's going to kill you at least. As Baka Deku just says that, well, Kaioken types 50 then. As Mili Baka Deku's body immediately surrounds with red aura. Saying that this attack, at least, should, well, wipe you out immediately. Immediately just saying these two words, final Kamehameha. As Millie, Deku, and Baku are thinking, that attack is, well, sure it might attack at least, but they can't, or, they can redirect it. As Millie, Baku, Deku just fire at Green. As Green, Millie moves out of the way, as Baku, Deku moves their arms to make it follow Green. Yelling out to Green that, that attack will always follow you, at least, as long as we have our two arms. As she just says, really now. She immediately pulls out her sword, saying that, wait, you brought a sword into this? 
You know how powerful we are, at least? Or us? I don't even know how to say it, at least. Fusion's weird. Ashley just says, yeah, but I have some that you don't. Ashley just yells out to her curse weapon to take her blood. As well, the king queen see that she actually has her curse weapon. No, her curse... Her cursed weapon's one of the most powerful cursed weapons in the Vampire Army. So yeah. Or going to be the one most powerful weapon, at least, sooner or later. As immediately she just fires a well energy slice at the attack, creating a giant explosion, but Green does not get hurt at all. As Baka Deku says, huh, so that sword's really, really interesting. Saying, yeah, you livestock, you're not going to even get to touch one of these, at least. You should be honored you've seen one of these. As Baka Deku says, yeah, right. Now, as he just says that, well, Kyle Ken times 50 won't do any good, I think Kyle Ken times 60 would do something really great. As, let's get to the side, the head of Baka Deku. Now, Bakugo and Deku are, well, floating inside of, well, Baka Deku's head, commanding him stuff to do stuff. Or at least controlling him. As Bakugo says, I think that's too much at least. Times 60, I think it's going to kill us. Saying, yeah, but remember, regeneration. I have a lot of quarks with me. As Bakugo says, yeah, but still, if we lose this match, we don't get to eat at all. Doesn't matter. Now then, let's continue on with the fight. As Bakugo yells out, hey look, she's going to attack us. As Millie Baka Deku just grabs her sword at least. Wait his hand, saying that that's not going to work green. Emily just saying these, well, just going to say this right now. Emily grabbing the sword out of her hand, just throwing it up into the air. And saying that this. Well, I'd rather destroy that thing before it gets out of control. Charging up the energy attack and throwing it up into the air. As the sword is consumed with all the energy. As the sword just merely falls on, down to the ground, it has no damage. As Baka Deku says, wait, should not be destroyed already? Saying, yeah, it should have, but, well, it wasn't. You see, cars, well, weapons exactly, are not affected by anything. Not, well, not affected by quirks or your powers, at least. As Baka Deku says, great. Now, he just says that, well, I better use this. Saying that this attack is, well, powerful enough to destroy this entire plane if I wanted to. Saying, oh, really, now? As Emily Bakadek charges at Green and saying one word, Solar Flare. Emily getting close to Green's eyes as she just says, Son of a fuck. Or son of a bitch, at least. As a lot of people that did see it, at least, are their fucking eyes hurt. As Bakadek says, Haha, you just got yourself Solar Flared. All these new attacks I'm learning, at least, are so powerful. As Baka Deku just says that, well, me? I don't even know what should I do next. Now, as the king just yells at the queen that she's being a little arrogant here, at least. As she just yells out to her father, she isn't. As Mili Baka Deku just round hucks kicks her in the face. And Mili, she's on the ground, and she immediately gets back up. Speeding up some blood, saying that, okay, that's it. As she immediately just charges at Baka Deku, Baka Deku's way faster than her, and stronger, and more powerful, powerful -er than her. As she immediately just yelled up to the one of the guards, phase two then. As Baka Deku says, phase two. Saying that, yeah, that's right, Baka Deku. Saying that if you don't get out of that form, as she just points out to the team, Seeing that they're all, well, at gunpoint, at least, with swords and guns. As many Baka Deku powers down, seeing that, what the heck are you doing, at least? I thought supposed to be a clean match. Seeing that, well, it isn't truly a clean match, then. How about this? You defuse, and we'll fight evenly, at least. Two against one. As Baka Deku's looking at, well, looking at Green, she just says that, well, I could tell the guards to kill your friends, at least. You'll be the last two livestock there, but it doesn't matter. As Baka Deku says, fine. Emily defusion. Now, Deku just yells out to Baka, we can't fuse oh, up in 30 minutes or so. As Baka says, this is a shady quirk then. Saying, yeah, if I defuse again, we might die, or at least you'll die at least. You don't have regeneration or any of those are abilities. As Baka says, yeah. Emily, 
while he feels something a little bit more weirder. He immediately forms a key energy ball, saying that, wait, what? As Deku tries to see, as Deku sees that, saying that, huh, so it seems that you got the quirk. As Deku tries to use the energy quirk, it does work too, saying that, huh, so we both got the energy quirk. Well, that's weird. As Bako says, yeah, so when we defuse at least, then, well, we might, you might get quirk. So, I copied your quirk, as Deku just says, yeah. Well then, this is interesting, as Green Millie charges at Bako, slicing off one of his arms. As Bako says, fuck. As Deku just yells at Kaioken times 50, charging at Green and punching her in the face, but this does nothing. As Green Millie grabs Deku's arm and Millie, well, throws him on the ground. Stepping on his arm and Millie ripping off once more. Now then, as Green has Deku's arm in the air, says that, well, you must be armless, aren't you? As, well, a few people do laugh, and a few people are just putting their heads and saying that, no, why? As Baku just yells out to Deku, are you okay? As Deku says, yeah, I am. Now, as she immediately gets her sword and stabs into Deku's heart. Well, she thinks that she has killed him, at least. So he's like, well, Baku, you're the last one. As she immediately starts getting closer to Baku. Now then. As Deku gets up at least, what, well, not that much energy. Yelling out to Green that I'm not dead, you idiot. Mostly, have you never seen any movies at least? You should know to always double tap somebody at least. That means kill them twice. Stab them once through the heart and stab them once through the brain. So yeah. As she just says, huh, well then, you like Stark are really resilient, aren't you? Saying, so, yeah, we're like cockroaches. We always come back to fight in our day. As Baku says why, as he just says, I don't know. Emilia Deku forms a temple at least and regenerates or consumes his arm. Telling you out to Baku that if we refuse, then we'll do fuse. Then I can reattach your arm. As Baku yells out that, well, we can't fuse, remember? 30 minute time limit. As Deku says, yeah. But, Emilia yelling out to Green that, how about this, Green? I bet you were too cocky at least you couldn't defeat Baka Deku at all. As she just says no, I could defeat him. Saying that fine then, we'll use our base power then, if we de if we refuse then. As she just says fine. Now then. Emily Deku just walks over to Baku, saying that, well Baku. Emily putting his, well, grabbing Baku's arm off the ground at least, and reattaching it. Making, well, sewing it back up at least with his quirk. Mostly using the virus quirk at least to make it look a sew. Emilia is reattaching all of his nervous system so he can use his arm. So that, well, that's good. Now, Deku yells out that, well, Baka Deku does have two forms. Chao Ken Baka Deku and Normal Deku. Or Baka Deku, at least. But there's a third form, at least. Not Super Saiyan, guys, but something else. So that if we fuse this way, at least, our power level, our power will be ten times stronger than base Baka Deku. And stronger than Kyo Ken times 50 Baka Deku. It's just says, fine, how the heck are we supposed to do it? As Deku just says, well, it's a little embarrassing for you. Saying, what the fuck is it, at least, Deku? Emily's showing Deku how the dance is supposed to go. Doing the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z. As Baku yells out, I ain't doing that shell. Seems stupid anyway. Saying, fine, we'll just do it traditionally, and our power level will just be useless then. Fine. As Emily Baku puts his hand on Deku's back, as they fuse back to Baku Deku. Saying that it's been too long, Green. It's been like about five minutes or so since the fight. Well, then, you're going to deal with Baka Deku. Saying, yeah, but remember, you're at base power then. As Baka Deku says, yeah, but I think I have enough power to defeat you. As she immediately just swings her sword at Baka Deku, stabbing to his arm. Saying that that's weird. Why do you feel so weak? Saying that, oh, yeah, I forgot. It's been about an hour or so for these battles. So it's been a long time, so you haven't eaten a lot. As Baka Deku can tell, so he had shit. As she immediately roundhouse kicks Baka Deku on the ground, saying so that, well, I think I should do your double tap thing, right? Yank your sword up into the air, aimlessly stabbing Baka Deku into the heart. As she immediately yanks out and saying so that, well, I think this should be the end, right? Baka Deku has one of his arms to his, well, chest at least, trying to keep blood from coming out of his body. 
trying to regenerate his, well, cells at least. As Green was going to do that, the king just yells at the Green to stop. And she just says, wait, why, Dad? Say that, well, I've been here too long at least, though. And this spell has been going too far. We did lose a lot of livestock, so we don't want to lose any more. And she just says, fine. Telling Baka Deku that was a great fight, at least. Putting out her arm for, well, friendly ship. As Baka Deku just tells her to go to hell, at least. Defusion. As Baku does have that wound, at least. Deku does heal up Baku, and, well... Baku just yells at, hey, you have a stupid tail. As Deku sees that, huh, that's weird. No, it is like a Saiyan tail, at least. So yeah, bring some Dragon Ball sh Z shit in this, at least. So yeah. As Deku just says, huh, why well, better rip it off? As he does, and just consumes it, though. Now. Now then, let's... Do a time skip at least. All the livestock are back at their well original settlements at least. Some people are grieving over their friends' lives at least, and some people are cheering around. So technically, it was a technical draw, but the king did allow them to eat whatever they want. So yeah. Now then, the most powerful two people in the settlement are Bakugo, Deku, and Green. So yeah, if we had to say. While well, Baka Deku and Kaikun Type 50 is way powerful than Green, Baka Deku at base power, well, could handle Green on his own. Baka versus Green, instant dead. Baka Deku versus Green, it could happen at least. It's whoever's powerful enough. It could have an evenly match. So yeah. Now then, let's get to the next day at least. Now, as Baka and Deku are talking about, that was actually really great at least. Their power was really strong. As Baku just says to Deku that, well, at least have that energy manipulation quirk, or whatever you call it. As Deku says, yeah, but I'm going over these people's memories in my head. It's a little weird, though. Each time when I dream, I see these guys' nightmares. And I see everything about them, their families and shit. It's a little creepy. As Baku says, yeah, well, I hope you do get some help, Deku. And besides, at least we have that plan. As he just says, yeah, when are we going to do that plane anyway? We're going to do it on Friday. It's going to have us enough time at least. An entire week, huh? Because we do need to rest up. If we escape now, then we'll be too weak. If we go to, well, we go to the next day, then we'll be too weak too. So yeah, we need to get to enough time. So an entire week. So that, well, that'll be enough. Now. Now then. Now. Let's go back to in time, or not go back time, sorry, now, as Baku says that I hope your mother is okay at least, saying yeah, I better virus quirks keep me alive or something, now, let's go back to time, three years before this all happened, now, this is after Deku did get, well, taken by the vampires at least, at Deku's home, now, I told you guys Ingo Midoriya was not dead, Hasashi Midoriya is dead, yes, but Inka Midori is not dead. She was just unconscious. Her quirk was keeping her alive. Due to the quirk mutating due to the virus. Due to the quirk. So yeah. It was mutating and changing. So she was adapt to, well, the virus. So the apocalypse virus. So she's immune too. So she immediately gets up and sees that Hasashi Midori is dead. And she immediately sees that. She starts breaking down, crying at least, and looking around trying to find her son. Going to his room and seeing that he's gone too. As she just sees outside that it's, well, an apocalypse. A lot of cra cars are there at least. She sees, well, no way, there and all the shit. As she's thinking. As she's thinking. What type of sick monster would do this? Who would do this to her own son? What happened, at least? Now. Shit. Now then. As she continues to go on, at least, she's thinking. If this is an apocalypse, she needs to get stronger. She needs to try to find her baby boy and all that shit. As she is thinking, she needs to consume something, at least, to get her power up. As she does not want to absorb Hasashi Midoriya, she sees that they don't have that much food left. And all the food that is in there, 
she won't be powerful enough to at least, well, fight for herself. As she immediately, well, walks up to Sashi Midoriya's corpse at least, and says sorry, consuming his body, getting all the memories of Hasashi Midoriya. As she does smile at least. Now, I'm going to say this right now. If you guys do want me to bring back Kasashi Midoriya's, well, if you guys do want me to bring it back, you guys can tell me. That I will be bringing the creator into this exactly and bringing him back to life if you guys want me to. So yeah. If you guys want me to do that, please put in the comment section below. And by the way, I do have the Discord. Please do not harass anyone on that Discord at least. So let's continue on. Now, as she sees Hasashi Midoriya's memories and stuff, she just smiles at least. Not a happy smile, not an angry smile, just, well, a smile. Not feeling emotions at all through it. As she forms a claw, two of them, saying, Great, I need to find some more bodies at least to absorb. As she immediately just packs up a few bottles of water at least, though. As she just sees that there's not many bottles of water in there, she only sees about three or four left. And she just says, Great. Now, as she just goes out, well, as she just leaves her apartment at least, she just sees a lot of broken cars though. As she just wants to go to the police station and, well, check see if they have any weapons there. Now then, as she's looking around a little bit more, she sees these people in, well, clothes. They are not pro heroes. They are vampire hunters, or vampire guards. Mostly... Shit, do I have the picture? Right here. So yeah. Now then. As she sees them, she's thinking to yell out to them. But she thinks that she could not trust these people. Now. She sees that there's only one of them at least. So she's thinking that she can just consume him if he tries to do anything funny. As she merely just yelled up to this person, the person just looks at her. With red eyes, saying that, wait, does he have my quirk? As she continues to yell out to him, the guy just immediately runs toward her. As she sees that, he has a sword and clothes. As she's thinking, wait. As she just says, fuck. Forming two claws at least and getting ready to defend herself. As the guy just immediately says, huh, well then, human. As she just says, wait, what? Saying yes, if you don't know, I'm a vampire. As, well, Inko just starts laughing, saying that, yeah, yeah, and I'm the, well, I'm Jack Frost. That's funny. Saying, no, I really am a vampire. You humans don't understand anyway. As she says, really now, if you're a vampire, shouldn't you be burning in the sun? Saying that, well, it doesn't work like that. What's your name, at least? Well, I should get your name. Saying that, well, you can just call me, well, Slime. Well then, Slime, my name's Inko Midoriya. Inko Midoriya, huh. Well then, do you have a kid at least? Say that, well, yes I do. His name is Azuka Midoriya. As merely this guy just coughs at least. He did hear about this kid that absorbed like 10 of his, well, guard friends. As this guy does want to get revenge on that kid, he's thinking of the next best thing, killing his mother. Saying, well ma'am... Emily pulling out a sword, saying that, well, your son's done a lot of bad things to my friends, so I'm going to kill you now. As Inko says, really now. Form your claws, and they have a little battle. Inko does get a little hurt, but she does win at the end, by cutting off the guy's arms and absorbing his body. To gain any information she needs to know. As she gets the information about the vampire army and all that shit, at least they have conquered the entire, not the entire planet. They have conquered the entire planet, yes, and they have killed a lot of people. And the only people that are alive are a few pro heroes here and there. A few kids are being used as livestock to get blood out of them and stuff. So yeah. As she just says, one thing only. I'm, I'm going to find you, Azuku. As she continues, well, going on through the city. As she merely, well, creates biomass to make light clothes at least. Making them like that vampire, well, suit. And she does have a sword. It was not a cursed weapon. It was an enchanted weapon. So anyone can use an enchanted weapon, at least. And there is something in the lore, at least, that enchanted weapons can only be used by, well, this certain person, though. Please tell me in the comments below. So, yeah. None. 
as she now arrives at the police station. She just sees that the police station is holed up by a few pro heroes. Midnight and President Mike. As President Mike sees, well, Inko, saying that look, it's another vampire. As many people get ready to fire, as Inko says, wait, I'm not a vampire. As, well, as President Mike says, prove it then. Emily Inko just, well, opens her mouth and shows that, shows that she's not a vampire at all. Saying that, why the heck are you wearing the clothes then? Saying that, well, let me explain how my cork works. Explain that it's a virus-based cork and all that shit. As President Mike says, huh. As they say that, wait, shouldn't you be dead? Say that, no. For some reason, my cork kept me alive. But I don't know if it can help anyone else out. If it can, then I'll be, well... As long as they don't die, then I'll help out. As friends and Mike says, fine. Now, as Inko is welcome, at least she sees a few kids here and there. Not that many, about five kids, and President Mike and Midnight are the only pro heroes there. So yeah, now, President Mike and Midnight don't know how to handle these vampires that good. They know how to drive them off, at least. Or at least force them to get more backup. Midnight does make them go to sleep at least, and President Mike just, well, makes their bodies, well, go, well, fling into the air at least, so they can take enough damage. So yeah. Now, as President Mike says that, well, Inko, there's a settlement due east at least, and we need to get some supplies there. Pro Heroes and others like All Might, Endeavor, let's check see... Killer Orca and other pro heroes are there at least. As Inka says, great. So we need to take all these kids there. As President Mike says, yeah. There's a big enough, there's like a giant settlement there. Or a giant one somewhere at least. is being set up, but we need to well, go there with all these kids. As Inka says, great. Now, I think this is a good spot to end off here. The next part will be continue on with Inka's story. So yeah. I hope you guys do like this at least. Goodbye.